Hi everybody, today's video topic is, how to extend disk C if the extend volume option is inactive, as well as how to increase the size of disk C without losing data. This video is made on a computer with Windows 11, but all my steps for you will be exactly the same in both Windows 10 and Windows 8, and also this video is made for those who have already tried to expand the drive, but found that there is a small system partition between drive C and D, and it is because of this problem that you were unable to expand drive C. Today I will show you how to easily solve this problem. And so, I open this PC, and here we see two disks, disk C and disk D, and they are located on the same physical disk. The C drive currently has too much data, its memory is full, and that is why it is colored red. The D drive contains my photos, videos, and other personal files, and there is enough free space there to transfer some of that space to the C drive. But if your C disk and D drive are on different physical disks, then my video will not help you increase the size of C drive and you will have to solve this problem in another way. Since my C drive and D drive are on the same physical drive, I will now use Windows to increase the space on the C drive. It is not difficult to do this at all, follow me, repeat all the steps from the video, and you will succeed too. Right click, start, and select, disk management from the list. In the program window, we see drive C. I right click on the disk, and in this list we see that the extend volume line is dim gray, that is, the extend volume parameter is currently inactive. Please note that some of you may see on your computer that there is a small system partition between drive C and drive D, you also see this on my computer, and therefore it will not be possible to expand drive C in disk management. To solve this problem, I suggest downloading and installing a free version of the mini tool partition wizard application on your computer. Especially since with this application it will be much easier and faster to expand drive C than in disk management if you do not have a partition between drive C and D as on my computer. And so, I close disk management and now we need to download and install mini tool partition wizard on the computer. This is truly one of the best programs in this area and you will now see for yourself. Open your browser, and write in the search, Mini Tool Partition Wizard. On this page you need to select and click, Partition Wizard Free. Click, Download NW. And the application installer will immediately download to your computer. You can close the browser and now open Explorer, then the Downloads folder. Double-click on the application shortcut. Here you need to select the language you need. In this window, you can purchase the Pro version, to expand the disk, the free version will have enough functions, next. I leave for myself one function for disk expansion, but you can choose the functions you need, next. I won't change anything here. The application has installed, finish. The main management menu of the mini tool partition wizard opens. Here we see drive C. On the right is drive D. To expand drive C we need to reduce drive D and attach the freed space to drive C. To do this, right click on drive D, and select move, resize. In this window we see a display of disk D. The space occupied by data is colored dark blue, while light blue indicates free space on the disk. To shrink disk space along with data, you need to grab and hold the right side of the disk with the mouse and drag it to the left as far as you see fit. I want to free up space on the D drive by about half of its total volume. You can see how my actions are immediately displayed in the table below the image of the D drive. Well, I'll stop at this amount of free space and click, OK. Please note that unallocated space has formed next to drive D, which I will later attach to drive C. For the changes to take effect, you must continue the process and click, apply. Click, yes. And now we need to restart the computer. I clicked restart now. And the computer began to reboot. 
Now the application continues to work outside the operating system, we don't need to do anything for a few minutes, just wait for the process to complete. The process is completed and my computer logs into Windows. I launched the mini tool application again. Now we can expand the C drive, and for this we need to attach unallocated space to the C drive. Right click on drive C, and select, extend. In this window, you need to click, here, and select the unallocated space to attach to the C drive. By default, the app only prompts you to attach half of this space, so to choose the amount you need, click and hold here, and move right or left as you see fit. OK. To complete the operation, click, apply again. If you agree, click yes, if you want to change something, click no, I click, yes, and reboot the computer again. The computer rebooted. The desktop opened and now let's look at drive C. Yes, disk C is no longer red and has free space. Now I need to check my data on drive D. Here we see that after I compressed the D drive and transferred some of the free space to the C drive, all my files remained in place and nothing was lost. My video review has come to an end. And I hope that this process was also successful for you, thank you very much for your attention to my video, and see you on my channel. Good luck!